I remember this this young guy, full of enthusiasm. Uh, I guess he'd been working for WRTI for at least four years, maybe six, because he was a graduate student at the time. You know, the, the dark glasses, you know, the heavy rims and everything like this, and very much the, uh, the uh, broadcast person. I met Ken in the 90s when I was just starting out. I worked at WTVH in Syracuse, and Ken was our consultant. He was talking about degree days before anyone was talking about them. Ken didn't just know news. He knew sports, he knew weather, because early in his career he did it all. New York Jets quarterback Joe Namath will be sidelined for six to eight weeks. He suffered a slight separation of his right shoulder in the first quarter of the Jets game against the Colts in Baltimore. When I pop a tape in or pop a DVD in, the first thing I'm looking at is do I understand, do I understand what they're saying? not just in their voice, but do their words make sense? And that's, you know, that came from Ken also. I've often wondered whether being an actor might be easier than being a news reporter. I haven't found out yet, but I'm about to, thanks to Rob and Dale. This is Ken Bennett, Action News, <coughs> in Hamden. And he taught me the human Zoom, if Ken remembers this. And you'll see me do this a lot on the news. I'm talking to you, the viewer, and I'll actually step forward to make a point and then step back. And it's very impactful. Well, I want to thank Ken for my look these days because I figured I'd follow his footpath, uh, footsteps and go to consultant, be a consultant where on a Friday I could wear shorts, wouldn't have to show up in an office, nobody would really care. Ken has great hair and it doesn't move. It's perfect in all weather. You either have it or you don't, and he doesn't seem to have lost very much. It may have changed a little bit in color over the years, but then you wear that like a badge of honor. He's ageless. He looks the same now as he did when I knew him in the beginning 20 years ago. Ken is never about himself. Ken is always about everybody else. I wouldn't be where I am today in my career uh, almost 20 years if it weren't for Ken Bennett. He's doing what he should have done. Take all of his life experiences, all of his enthusiasm for the craft of journalism, his intellect, his love of people, especially young people who are in journalism or want to be in journalism, and go back into the classroom, sit on the other side of the desk. I would go to RTNDA or RTDNA or whatever the, what it was called at the appropriate time, and I would always see Ken there. And Ken would say hi, but the second question was, are you going to the dinner? Well, if you're not going to the dinner, I need the tickets. I have a bunch of students here. I really want to get my students there. And it's another way of him broadening his footprint on future generations by sharing what he knows, getting people to be their best, perhaps even wanting them to be better than he is.